Hello and welcome. Can I help you? Mm -hmm. um, you got a gift card for my shop, correct? Well, congratulations. May I see the gift card, please? Thank you. So you got gifted a custom perfume. Well, um, congratulations again for um, this bespoke perfume. I'm gonna be taking care of you, okay? We're gonna discuss this in a short moment. Alright, but first I want to, well, um, introduce myself, okay? I am a perfumer. I've been for a little while now and I am specialized in bespoke perfumes, okay? So, um, very simply, I'm gonna be um, testing a couple of perfumes on you. You're gonna tell me what you like, what you dislike. Tell me a bit more about um, yourself, your preferences and then, uh, step by step, we're gonna be making your very own perfume, okay? So, um, you probably are familiar with the alcohol-based perfumes, which are, well, your ordinary off-the-rack perfume, but I am specialized in oil-based perfumes, which are a bit different the main difference is that, well, it's going to be an oil, which is very densely perfumed. And, and the main difference is that, well, it's going to be beneficial for your skin first, because alcohol is not good <laughs> to be put on the skin, but um, the oil I'm using is. And also the scent is going to be very strong, but it's going to be uh, smelled for persons near you, okay? Not like a usual alcohol-based perfume, which you can smell from a couple of feet away. Right, so um, if you're okay with um, doing everything right now, we can start by um, me asking you a couple of questions on your preferences. Do you have the time right now? Okay, great. Perfect. Well, I'm just going to be taking some notes of your preferences, okay? And once I know a bit more about you and about what you like, I'm going to be um, letting you smell a couple of my creations, okay? Good. So, first of all, can you um, describe yourself quickly to me? Mm -hmm. So, um, what you like, dislike in your life, what kind of person you are, be creative. Okay. I'm just going to be taking a couple of notes, of course. Mm. Okay. Perfect. So, um, how would you describe your style? The way you um, will present yourself? What kind of clothes you wear? Well, um, for your bespoke perfume, do you have anything in mind? Any um, well, perfumes you already enjoy very much, or um, uh, some specific scents and fragrances that you know you really love? have you worn in the past and what do you think of them now? For example, when you were younger, 
was there a perfume that you would wear all the time but now it reminds you of something specific or there's a specific um, fragrance in it that you cannot stand anymore that kind of stuff wear perfume is that something that you do every day and which is in your routine or um, do you wear perfumes for specific occasions and for this specific perfume we're gonna be designing um, do you want it to be for special occasions for every day Yeah, especially in the summertime with uh, the sunshine and everything. Well, I would advise you not to wear an alcohol based perfume on your skin because it's gonna get your skin um, more sensitive to the sunlight and overall it can, well, damage your skin, especially when it is so sunny outside, you know? So if you do have that kind of perfume, you can still wear it, of course, but then try wearing the perfume on areas of your body which do not see the sunlight every day okay so for example um, behind your ears would be a nice spot to wear your perfume all right but then again you will not have that issue with um, the oil based perfume i'm gonna be making for you okay all right okay um just a couple more questions. Do you have a favorite smell that you know that can be anything, uh, something you enjoy eating or um, you know gas station, I understand. <laughs> anything, the smell of the sea, the smell of a forest. Uh, are there specific smells that you love so so much? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. And um, do you have some very specific smells linked to some happy memories or um, your childhood? Because in the end, perfumes are very personal and are often linked to uh, some memories that you have. And. This is something we can work on if you want your perfume to remind you of something specific. Mm -hmm. questions um well do you know specifically what kind of perfumes that you enjoy between the big families that there are are you more into florals sweet perfumes or something rather sophisticated and dense and heavy or something more fresh and clean and light you know I wanted okay and now I can well let you uh, try out a couple of perfumes that I have that may be suited for you okay one thing I forgot to tell you too is that I am working with essential oils of well mostly plants but roots as well roots that kind of stuff so it is all natural all my perfumes are based on an um, vegetal oil, jojoba, and also um, some essential oils which are gonna be 
giving the scent that you want but as I am working with natural products I cannot be making all the fragrances that you would normally get because some um, scents are synthetic and I am not working with those okay but you will see there are already so many stuff we can do with just natural ingredients okay so from what you told me I have a feeling that you would be happy with uh, either a woody perfume green perfume or maybe something more a bit more citrus so I'm gonna be making you try a couple of these um, and then we'll be working on the fine tuning on uh, what you like and dislike in the olfactory pyramids that I already have okay um, well actually I have these pyramids already written down so that you can see the different um, possibilities that I have for you okay okay so as you can see here I've got a couple of olfactory pyramids for you so what these are are composition of different scents and basically um, with all of these scents we can create a perfume which will be balanced you can see that there are base notes mm -hmm, hard notes and top notes um, so just to let you know um, base notes are the most heavy molecules of them all and well they are gonna be staying on your skin the longest okay so these are the base of the perfume then you've got the hard notes which are a bit lighter but not as much as the top notes which are well the notes that you can smell straight away but also which are gonna be evaporating the quickest okay and what's nice about the oil-based perfumes is that because of the oil uh, well, we can keep the top notes uh, longer than if it was an alcohol-based perfume because then the top notes would be, well, fading away much quicker so even if you have the same composition in essential oils the perfume that you will get, depending on the base that you choose, is so different depending if you choose the oil or the alcohol so um to be clear with you depending on what you prefer i was thinking we could be maybe mixing this beautiful perfume called bergamot and basil even though there are more than just bergamot and basil in it and this one which is cedar and cardamom this one is so beautiful because the cardamom and the cinnamon really are adding such density and depth and warmth to the perfume while still being very green okay so um now i'm gonna be letting you smell these two perfumes with this composition okay and uh, then you will let me know what you liked and dislike and then we can find you So I'm going to be using these, of course, to let you smell these. We are first going to be testing all the perfume on these tools, of course, and then once we know more what you liked, we can then have a test on your skin, because actually a perfume is going to smell differently depending on who's wearing it depending on the skin of the person and this is due to the pH of the skin which is different depending on the person again okay right so this is bergamot and basil Let that 
sink in, really take all of the perfume in and really think of the different layers that you get from the perfume, okay? Take your time and really think of what it's making you feel and if it brings back any memories from your past. I really get something so well, it is a citrus perfume, so you really get that beautiful, beautiful lemon and bergamot, which is actually some kind of um, well citrus again. And with the depth of the basil, it is beautiful and very refreshing and green, you know. You like that? Okay, great. Um, I'm gonna be letting you try the second pyramid. But before we move on to the second smell, I want you to smell this jar of coffee beans, okay? If you do not know, coffee beans um, can really help out cleaning your nose and, uh, well, not mistaking or mixing uh, the scents that you get, okay? Okay, great. You ready? Moving on to the second smell. Okay. So this one is cedar and cardamom. And like I told you, this one is so different. It is less fresh and more heavy, warm. And I really love this one as well, but it is a completely different um, mood from the other one you've already smelled. Okay. Your turn. Alright, so let that sink in once again. You can smell that the cardamom actually is bringing something very fresh to the perfume, even though it is so deep and warm, so it is, it is really one of a kind, in my opinion. Yeah. Right, there's also a bit of pepper in there, really adding that spice, you know, to the perfume. Well, I'm happy you like both of them. I thought you would. And right now we can actually smell the different components and we'll make the mix that's gonna be perfect for you, okay? So if we bring back the pyramids that we've got there, you can see that for the first one, bergamot and basil, you have actually have, well, at the top notes, you've got the bergamot, the basil and lemon, okay? Then for the heart note, you've got, well, citrus leaf and orange blossom. And at the base note, you've got some sandalwood, cedar and musk. For the second one, you've got, uh, for the top notes, pink pepper, pepper and grapefruit, okay? For the heart note, you've got cardamom, cinnamon and light. For the base note, you've got cedar wood, benzoin, and amber. Okay, and so now I'm just gonna be letting you try a couple of these components and let me know if some well, should be changed. Okay. So, um, okay, starting with the base notes. I've got here the cedar, okay, which you can smell independently from the rest to really know if this we want to keep or not. But of course, know that it is much different to smell 
the individual components um, out of the rest, you know? Some fragrances are beautiful on their own, but once they are mixed, they, well, do not work well together and sometimes it is the opposite. For example, some of these smells on their own you may dislike, but mixed with the other one, they just are beautiful, you know? Okay, so let's start with the setup. But before we move on to the individual components of the perfume, let's, well, rinse the nose, okay? Okay, perfect. Okay. So let's start with the setup. This one is a base note, but you can see that it is, well, dense, but still very green. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This one, yeah, this one is just beautiful. It reminds you of walking in a forest, basically. And sometimes, actually, it is so hard to find, well, the right composition for a perfume, because Sometimes these are more, well, olfactory creations than actually a perfume that someone can wear. I've designed perfume in the past which are, in my opinion, beautiful, but I think which are not suited uh, for a person. I mean, it's more of an ambience for a room, for example, because who wants to smell like a forest, you know? It is a beautiful scent, but is it you, you know? And that's why I've asked you these questions before, because I need to know what kind of person you are, to know which perfume to make for you, okay? So yeah, this is the base note. Beautiful, right? Okay. Before moving on to the second base note. So now, central. Sometimes I feel like a three-year-old when the bottle just doesn't want to open because, you know, they are secured for adults and sometimes it's not that easy to open them. This one is much, is much stronger and darker than the setter and if we want to mix it with the citrus well either it's gonna be very discreet and light in the composition I mean very little I will be putting in or either I'm afraid it may overshadow the citrus But still, you know, these woods scents are just a walk in the forest, in my opinion. They are beautiful, even on their own, you know. I'm not gonna be letting you smell some patchouli, but this is something that many people hate or love, you know. There's not really any in-between for patchouli, and I must say I love that smell. It is so green. That's the second base notes. 
So what do you think? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure which one would prefer between the cedar and the sandalwood, but I'm gonna warn you, this one I think will overshadow the citrus. Okay, so um, I would advise you not to put it in the final perfume for you. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, now I'm not gonna be um, letting you smell all of the ingredients, okay? But I still want you to try out the cardamom, okay? Which is very surprising on its own because it is very warm yet green, so it is beautiful. Um, element, a bit of spice in there too. And speaking of spice, I think uh, I would like you to smell the black pepper. Okay? Good. So let's start by cleansing the nose. So for the cardamom, and yet green side which is going to complement the citrus part of the perfume that's beautiful hmm? you like that as well? of course these are essential oils so these are well very heavy on their own okay but mixed with the oil and in the right amount it's gonna be just fine. Of course, I didn't warn you before, and I should have, but essential oils are not suited for everyone, okay? Some persons are allergic to them. Um, it is um, advised not to use essential oils if you are pregnant or on children below three years old, even more depending on the essential oil. So, now you know. Yeah, this one is gonna be beautiful, especially with the bergamot. I think it's gonna be super pretty. Okay, all right, last cleanse, and then we will be moving on to the pepper. now the pepper. You will see this one is very surprising. This one is so incredible because it is very, very fresh and spicy, so it, it is really gonna be the pop that, well, is gonna be complementing so well the, all the citrus that you're gonna have in your perfume. It's just, you cannot, not putting in the perfume, it's gonna be, well, that cherry on top, that's gonna be linking everything together, you know? Perfect. Alright, well, I'm gonna be summing everything up for you, okay, on what I think I'm gonna be putting in your perfume. So, well, like I told you, it's going to be a mix between 
the bergamot and basil perfume and the seda and cardamom. For the top notes, I'm going to be using bergamot, basil and lemon, as well as some pepper, okay, for that bit of pop. Uh, for the hot notes, I'm going to be using cardamom and cinnamon, okay, for that warmth, okay. And for the base notes, I'm going to be using Seda. You okay with that? Mm -hmm. Well, I am glad that you're okay with the pick. I think it's going to be beautiful. And um, if you have the time, you can wait for a couple of minutes. I will be moving to the other room in order to make the perfume. And I will be right back. Thank you for waiting. I am back and I have your perfume ready. So here it is. Mm -hmm. It is in this beautiful um, bottle in blue glass. Why we are using blue glass? It is because it is actually preventing the perfume to get spoiled because of the sunlight. Because basically the sunlight is going to be aging the essential oils and the oil in your perfume okay and we want to avoid that as much as possible so this perfume um, try keeping it in a dry um, space okay um, nothing in direct 
direct contact with the sunlight, nothing too warm, right? And when you want to wear your perfume, what you do is very simple, you just shake it a little bit, mm -hmm, just like that. And once it is shaken, you just take this off, right? And simply up. shake it on your finger. Then you've got your oily perfume on your finger. And once you have the perfume on your fingers, you can put the perfume on your pressure points. So these are behind your ears. On your wrist, um, your elbows and behind your knees, okay? And during the day this perfume is gonna be living with you. It's gonna be evolving and changing depending on how much you move, the temperature and the pH of your skin as well, okay? So now that I have the perfume on my fingers, I'm gonna be rubbing it on your wrist, okay? So can I have uh, one of your hands, please? Thank you. Okay, and I'm just rubbing very gently um, the perfume on your wrist. Okay. I'm gonna be doing the same to me with the rest of the perfume. Okay, and now you can simply What do you think of it? Yeah, like I told you, it is much more subtle than an alcohol-based perfume but this one is gonna be well keeping the top notes much longer so um, your perfume is gonna be much different than if we would have used a different base and it's gonna be evolving throughout the day too You like it? And I have um, a surprise for you. This is something I haven't told you about, but I also make candles, scented candles with the very same essential oils I use for the perfume. Okay, and this small candle is from um, the bergamot and basil um, pyramid that I've shown you meaning that it is very close to your perfume and I would advise you to just simply use this scented candle in um, your living room, for example, at your place and it is going to complement so, so nicely with your own perfume Okay, so this is just a bonus to go with uh, your custom perfume so here you go You've got the candle and the beautiful perfume. Okay. Well, um, I hope you've enjoyed the experience. I hope you are happy with your custom perfume. I know I'm very happy that I met you today and that we got to work on this perfume. And well, I hope you will enjoy it very much, okay? So have a great day.